Hello, Cancers. What's happening with you? Sun, moon, Venus signs rising. Mm. Cancers. Someone here cannot stop thinking about you, Cancer. Ay, ay, ay. Some of you feel like this is too good to be true. You're feeling like you should possibly run from this situation. Things are getting too close. Things are happening too fast. Some of you just met someone or you're going to meet someone and you start feeling like it's like you start doubting it. It's like this person really starts to make you feel something. This person makes you feel like you connected deeply again. And I feel like this is not someone here that needs to speak. Everything is in their eyes. Everything is in their energy here. But I feel like with this unstable energy, you may feel a little bit unbalanced with everything that's happening. Like, like I don't know if I should give this a chance. I don't know if I should give this. I don't know if I should open up to this person. And I feel like there are some actions or maybe there's something in terms of texting, the consistency, the way this person texts, that's throwing you off a little bit. Something must have happened here that's making you feel like, should I bring it up? Should I say something? Should I address it? They make me feel so good, I'm hearing. Someone's interested in you, Cancer. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Someone here really has deep feelings for you. What's happening here with Cancer? It's like you're paying attention to a lot of the red flags, even though there isn't any. And I'm not saying there isn't any, but Spirit is saying, pay attention to the red flags that are supposed to be paid attention to. Right. For some of you, it's like, well, I haven't heard from this person. Maybe that's a red flag. This person didn't say, you know, good night. You know, so something here that's making you feel like, well, I've seen this before or I've seen this happen before. So you just want to be careful if you're not well, that you're not nitpicking. However, for my cancers, because you're very intuitive, right? If you are picking up on red flags here, I feel like you may not be speaking about it. You may not be bringing it up. And you're allowing that person to come in and express something. But I really feel deep down inside for some of you here, there's something in the past that you're leaving behind, closing the door on. Okay. And I really don't want to get into that too much into your reading. I really want to focus on the future here, but I hope you're focused on the future as well with me. So the question is, Cancer, are we still focused on the past here or are we learning from the past? And I get that you are learning from the past. You're learning from the past unstable energies, but also learning your lessons from those unstable vibrations, especially if you're connecting with a Gemini, Leo, or an Aries or a Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay. There's an energy here of, I still think about it and I wonder what else is next for me here. Let's see what else is going on. Red flags here. And I feel like this could be you. Are you still focusing on the old cancer? Like something here in your past is just not stable. And I, and it could also be like a vibration. Like I'm constantly attracting this sort of energy or I'm still missing someone in my past or I still think about someone in my past here. And Spirit is saying, pay attention because these could be your own red flags that you need to pay attention to. Okay, so let that, let that sort of work its way around your thought process in a sense, or even your heart, not your thought process, your heart. Okay, what's happening with cancers in love moving forward? We're only focusing on forward energy now. What's happening with cancers with moving forward in love? <laughs> yeah, look at you, you're, mo you're moving forward. It was difficult, but I feel like you're doing it. You could be traveling here. You could be traveling and finding your stability again. And in the midst of this, what happens in love, please? What happens in love? You take a risk here. I feel like for some of you, healing is like your main focus. But I feel like someone here wants your attention. This person could be younger than you. This person could be a little... 
<laughs> I feel like this person could have a really good sense of humor, but maybe the age thing could be something for you. But it's like this person really wants to take a risk with you. This person wants to get to know you. Could be a Virgo here or even a Pisces. I feel like this is someone that's saying, like, come with me. I want to show you new things. I want to make you feel new things here. It's like this person wants to, like, learn about you. How does this person truly feel about my viewers? I see them attracted to you. Like, we could be a team. I feel like this person keeps on thinking about you. Like, they constantly think, like, what type of, like, team we would be. Like, what type of lovers we would be. This person could have, like, status. Or this person could have, like, um... I don't want to say a big following, but this person could have some sort of status in their life or this person could be really stable and you may be shocked because it's like, wow, for your age, you're such an inspiration energy. How does cancer really feel about this energy coming in? Some of you could be fearful of it at first. It's like, I really want to focus on my healing and I feel like someone here may understand that because again, you're not negotiating. Yeah, some of you have to walk away from something first. Cancer, are you already feeling like this is not going to work out? Like, I feel like something came in and you're just like, I don't know if this is going to work out. If not, Cancers, a lot of you are walking away from something here, possibly losing a job, losing a commitment, losing a marriage, losing a relationship. And it really took a lot for you to walk away from that, you know, mental blockage or emotional blockage. But you're doing very well, Cancer. You are. Especially if you're connecting with a Scorpio, Pisces, or another Cancer. Or somebody that has a lot of water placements. Or a Sag. Show me how Cancer shows up after they walk away from their past. Or walk away from sadness or grief. How does Cancer show up here? In peace, balance, attractiveness. You're extremely attractive. But more so you're loving. Someone feels like you're so peaceful and they love that about you. They love how you have great introspect, like you're, you're a great listener. It's like this person wants to introduce you to their friends or maybe they brought you around their friends and we sat back and we had drinks or we talked and we laughed here. There's something about this person wants, or maybe this person's telling their friends about you. Like remember that person here? intuitively you know that this person still thinks about you could be a pisces i feel like for some of you you're attracting someone that is so intuitive and it's like they could literally like it's like they could read your soul they could read your spirit they know exactly it's like i don't even need to tell this person what i'm looking for they could feel it they already know when to show up I do feel like this person has a tendency of being quiet for some time here, but I feel like this is someone here that's just feeling the scenario out here. This person comes in and wants to offer you the truth. They want to express something to you. I feel like, okay, for those that have not met this person yet, for those that have met this person yet, I should say, and you haven't heard from this person 48 hours, couple of days, or whatever the case is. This is not a ghoster. This is not a game player here. This is someone here that you possibly had a conversation with and did not reveal their emotions as of yet. This is someone here that has been thinking about you ever since they ran into you. Those that have not met this person yet, when you meet this person, you will have a very powerful impact on this person. And this person's going to keep on thinking about you for hours and days, hours and hours. Who sings that song? Hours and hours, hours and hours here. Look, fertility here. Something new is coming in. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Don't forget your conditions. Don't forget your boundaries. Don't forget who you are in this new journey, in this new chapter. There's something that you're starting that's new here, and I feel like you find a sense of belonging in it. Okay? For some of you here, you could be purchasing something new, but more so, I feel like there's like a truth coming your way. Those that are walking away from something that just didn't value your time, I feel like this is a blessing in disguise, honestly. We have worth, worth waiting for here. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Something is coming in very beautifully for you. 
see it, feel it, visualize it, and believe it. Okay, I will talk to you soon, Cancers. Have a beautiful one again. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, my link is below and we could talk about your next steps here. Have a good one.